Guess who's back? Back again. And then I don't know the lyrics. Happy 2018! Because I am posting this after 2018. Hope you guys had a very, very happy Merry Christmas. Christmas? That's already way behind. Merry, merry, happy, very happy New Year's. <laughs> Enjoyed it with friends and family. Had some funsies. As you could read, this video is going to be a Q&A. Because in my four year channel anniversary, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to ask me some questions. Because I wanted to get like a community going. You guys could, could get to know me. I could get to know you. So I asked you guys if you could ask some questions. But I don't really have a large following. So I didn't really expect any questions. But I did get some questions. So I want to ask those little bit of questions. I think there were five questions that I'm going to answer. And again, if you're watching this and you have other questions to ask me, put that down below, then I can make another video about that. But with no further ado, let's go to the questions that I got on my last, not my last video, a video before, before, before that. Looking at the questions on my phone, by the way. So if I look down, you know why. I'm just gonna start with the question that I got first and then work my way up to the last question that I've got. First question. This is a long one. It's from DwayneCJ90. I hope I pronounced that right. It says, I think you're cool. Thank you. And I would add your music to my playlist if you had some. I don't have my own music, but I do have a Disney playlist, if that's what you mean. If you want that, I can put a link down below. Can you please get any type of guitar? <laughs> Funny that you asked that. I could get any type of guitar, but I cannot play guitar. So I don't think it would be, you know, logic for me to buy a guitar and not being able to play it. I could buy a guitar for my housemate and my best friend though, because she can play guitar. I, I could buy one for her and then she can play some guitar because I can't. First comment gonna mean something, right? <laughs> yes, it means a lot because I think you started the questions going. So thank you for that. Uh, and then it says, haha, take care. I could see you with a drum set though. Funny thing is, I've been wanting to play drums, drums for a very long time because I think drums are fucking cool and I really like want to learn and be able to drum because if you see me you don't think this girl could drum right I can't it's a fact but if I could drum and you could see me and I'll be like hey but I can I would be like Drrr. that would be very cool so thank you I would love to have a drum set and be able to play it I would also love to have a guitar and be able to play it but I just, I just can't. I can't play instruments. I really can't and I wish I could and I really wish I started, you know, from when I was little and now I can play lots of instruments, but I don't. I don't, unfortunately. Been following your channel for maybe three years now and I wanted to say it's great to see you pushing forward and having your own place now. Thank you. I'm very happy I have my own place too. It took a very long time to find our own little place, but we have a house and I really like it. Pursuing your studies, yes, yes, very important. I really, really want to finish this study because it's a very nice and interesting course that I'm following, but it's a bitch and it takes in a lot of time. That's why I'm not as active as I would like to be on YouTube because I really was planning on, you know, to make more videos and be more active, but School just takes in a lot of time and I don't really have a lot of time just to film videos and edit it and upload it regularly so I make videos whenever I can. And wanting to connect with your subscribers. Yes, I really want to connect with my subscribers because I have 3,000 something subscribers but I've noticed that my subscribers count doesn't, you know, reflect into my viewing count so I know that my subscribers aren't really active viewers and I want to change that I just want to connect with my subscribers and I want to create a following a little community so you know we can connect together we can chat together we can relate together and just have fun together that's really what I want never been to the Netherlands but I would love to visit someday you should you should visit the Netherlands because I live here I find it quite boring because I've basically seen everything in the Netherlands already and I kind of know 
what the Netherlands is and what you can do here and stuff but I think for people from foreign countries it's very nice to see what the Netherlands has to offer so come by one day my question to you is what are some typical foods that tourists should try when in the Netherlands one thing that I always say are strope waffles they're like waffles but then filled like thin thin waffles there are cookies very famous cookies here but they are thin waffles filled with like caramelly syrupy goodness it's just it's very great I don't know how to explain it you should try it once it's amazing also licorice is very popular in the Netherlands I know that a lot of non-dutch people hate licorice I am following an international course and every international student in my class does not like licorice so I think licorice is really like a Dutch thing but if you haven't tried that once try it it's also pretty good if you don't like it I'm sorry um, another thing that you have to try here bitter bala bitter bala are so good it's like little croquettes is that how you pronounce it in English I don't know but but even better they put it with like a little thing of mustard and you dip it in a mustard and you eat it like that it's very good I like it what more do you have I think that's about it I really I don't know I don't know what's like really typical Dutch hagelslag it's like little chocolate sprinkles that they put on their bread it's also very good but that's about it that's what comes to mind right now but definitely strobe waffles you have to try strobe waffles and then it says I believe food is one of the best ways to start learning about a culture and so I was really curious as to any recommendations you might have hello from Los Angeles hello Los Angeles uh, greetings from The Hague in the Netherlands but yeah Strobe waffles is definitely a must. And that question was from Alex Bravo. Thank you for your question. Then I have a question from Pizza Pumba who asks me, how many boyfriends have you had? Oh boy, what a complicated question you have to ask me. I've learned this year that I'm not good at relationships at all. Where do I start? This is gonna be a long story. I started dating a guy for the first time when I was like 21 and a half. Yeah, I started late. Because before that I wasn't interested in guys at all. But then I saw this guy and I was really interested in him and we just started talking and we started hanging out and stuff. But I don't think we ever really came to that point where we were like, okay, we're in a relationship because a lot of things were happening around it. At some points it was just like a little bit messy because I had some troubles with my family and it just really didn't like go that well but we really liked each other and we wanted to try it and then at one point we didn't really talk to each other anymore but then we talked again and it's just, it was all over the place. And I've found that I am very, sensitive to, to any sort of emotion because of my anxiety I have an anxiety yes there's a video about that I will post that down below <laughs> because this was also new for me I really didn't know how to react to certain situations and I felt like that like we really wanted a relationship together but it never really turned out that way unfortunately because of it just being messy and not really falling into place i i really don't know but how many boyfriends have you had i've had a person that i've been very interested in interested in that i very like but i don't think we were at that point that we had a relationship unfortunately because obviously you want that when you really like a person and if it doesn't turn out that way it's quite hard yeah that's that's all I can say I tried very hard but for some reason I don't know how to do relationships I really don't know then I have a very interesting question from my best friend who thinks she's funny commenting on my video when she lives together with me and she asks me hey do you like chicken <laughs> I like chickens you know the animals my future is like I have my house, I have my job that I really like, I have 
a boyfriend or a husband and I have a child and I have a dog and I have some cats but then I also want like a big garden and I want to have like bunnies and I want to have chickens so in that scenario I really like chickens but like chicken eating it itself I mean if it's there I eat it if there's nothing else but it's not my fave I won't pick it but you already know this so I don't know why you ask me this Davy or Dani I have it's not really a question it's just more someone stating something it's from Naz Wilmer did I pronounce it right it says I have been watching your videos for a while now thank you very much I could relate to your video about growing up with Muslim parents yeah I made a video about that I put it on private by the way because I had a very long and much needed talk with my mom after that and everything started falling into place more because yes I grew up with strict Muslim parents and I didn't feel like I had as much freedom as I wanted to but when I expressed my feelings uh, and I talked with my mom she finally understood that I am just the person that's longing for more freedom and to do my own things so she was very nice and you know like in the movie when you have like that switch in your parents and they finally come to realize that what they are doing is not really correct that happened and she was very sweet and nice and she helped us with this house uh, my dad even like put floorings in here my mom helped me wallpaper it and they helped us move our stuff here to the Hague so all of a sudden they were just very open and accepting for me to live my own life which is very great so at the moment it's going much 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 better which I really love but yeah I made a video about my very emotional video about living life with strict parents in which I like shared all my frustrations and I cried my heart out and then my mom saw that video and she was like very shocked and she wanted to talk to me about it and then we talked about it and she understood and I understood her point of view and now everything is basically working out which I really like and then we've come to the last question from Kenny Swift he or he or she asks let's not get gender specific <laughs> the ending is cute <laughs> thank you very much uh, your English is really good and you have a nice accent thank you I'm trying I'm following an international study so having basic knowledge of the English language and pronunciation is very important and I know that I'm not there I know that I have an accent but it's fine it's all fine I know you're busy with school right now but do you ever plan on visiting the United States yes I am very busy with school but I think if I'm done with school I'm definitely planning on going to the United States I talked with my best friend before about this uh, while we were still in high school we talked about doing a road trip in the United States and I think that would still be very 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 nice to do so I definitely want to pursue that that's like somewhere on top of my bucket list to do that but I want to do a road trip but I don't want to be the only one that can drive so I think we gotta wait a few years until maybe Davy gets her driver's license or we find like other people that can come with and drive because right now at the moment I only have my driver's license so we can just like hire a van or something just drive around go to B&B's and explore nature in the United States and I think that will be a lot of fun so yes I am planning to go to the United States when is not clear yet so these were all the questions that I got and thank you guys so much for asking these questions I really really like it again if you have other questions you can ask me anything you're curious about that I've mentioned comment that down below and I will ask that in another video um, I hope you guys liked watching this video and I hope the people that asked me the questions are happy with the answers <laughs> that I gave you guys normally I always comment on the comments that I get I reply on the comments that I get but I didn't do that this time because I really I wanted to reply here so that's why I didn't reply to you guys I'm sorry but yeah further questions down below I will ask that in the next video happy 2018 and I hope I will see you guys soon and that school is not going to be very busy <laughs> also um, Davy and I Davy is my best friend by the way Davy and I have some new 
projects going on, some new filming projects which is very very interesting that we work on next to school so we're gonna have it even busier than that so I don't know if I will be as active on YouTube but I'm gonna try to be and if I'm not active for a few weeks or months you guys know why but I will keep you updated with the video projects that we're working on and you could watch those instead they will probably be uploaded on the channel that I have together with Davy and the link you can find down below because I've posted videos on that too and if you want to watch those you can watch those um yeah have a nice day thank you so much for watching thank you so much for asking the questions big kisses goodbye <laughs>